Hey, it's Nick and Brian from London Real. We're at Floatworks here on London Bridge, and we're about to go into an isolation chamber. I'm so looking forward to this, Brian. I really need it. It's been a long week. I could use a good float. We're going to get naked. It's going to be dark. There'll be no sounds. It sounds like a usual night at your house, right? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's go check it out. session. Before you hop into the tank, you've got some earplugs here to put into your ears and they protect your ears from the salt. And if you happen to have any little nicks or cuts anywhere, put a little bit of Vaseline on as well because then it won't sting when you hop into the tank. Now when you hop in, it's really easy to use. Your head goes down this end and your feet go down the other end and you'll float on the surface of the water without having to try and float. You've got a couple of buttons in here that you also control while you're in the tank. This one here will switch the light off on the inside so you'll be in the darkness. And the other one on your right is the call button for reception. If you want to ask us any questions throughout the session, you can press that and it'll just let us know. We'll come by and knock on the door. There's also a neck cushion hanging on this side. You might like to use that behind your head if you feel a little bit more comfortable. And if you happen to get any salt in your eyes, we've got a bottle of fresh water there and you can spray it out with that, but try not to touch your face. So the way it works is we'll turn the lights out completely in the room and we'll turn some music on for you in the tank. You'll listen to 10 minutes of music. You'll be floating for 45 minutes of silence and in the dark. And then at the end, to indicate the time's over, we'll turn the music and we'll turn the lights back on in the room and then you know it's time to hop out. Afterwards, have a quick shower. You've got shampoo, conditioner, shower gels in there. So that's everything. Any questions? We're here at Floatworks by London Bridge with Matt Strudwick, and uh, we're about to go into an isolation chamber. Matt, what's the biggest hesitation people have when they usually go floating? Um, some people are a little bit concerned about being sort of enclosed in the tank itself. Um, but mostly when we show them the tank and show them how it works and that they're in complete control they're usually okay and certainly afterwards people are like wow that's great when you float you've got like sort of 10 inches of water with um, half a ton of Epsom salt in there which creates a super buoyant environment a bit like a bit like the Dead Sea but even more buoyant so you can't you couldn't sink even if you tried so you just float so firstly physically gravity's taken out of the equation you're just floating there no effort involved really good for your muscles any kind of pain and just just physically allowing things to stress to to go physically and then the the lack of any stimulation the lack of sound the lack of light eventually forces your brain to go into these very slow deep states you go through a deep alpha into a theta state and that's where a really kind of deep mental relaxation occurs creativity you know releasing kind of tension thoughts you know stuff like that so the combination of the physical relaxation with this mental kind of switch off you know you get this kind of double whammy effect and that's that's why people enjoy floating and keep coming back and doing it for years and years your brain is um, resonating at different frequencies with different states of consciousness so for example we're probably in a beta brainwave state now which is an alert active kind of state and alpha is more relaxed apparently children are in alpha a lot more of the time which means that they absorb and process information a lot more quickly if I'm not mistaken um, Matt referred to theta brainwave states which are apparently where re religious and mystical experiences take place um, and that's what I wanted to ask you about. Have you ever had someone come out of a, a float and say that completely changed my life or I met my dead grandfather? Or yes, I mean, uh, some people occasionally say that they have out-of-body experiences where they kind of, it's as if they're on the ceiling looking down on themselves in the tank. I mean, that's pretty rare, but yeah, some people, you know, they come out and say, you know, I've just decided I hate my job, I, you know, or, you know, my relationship's not working, things like this. Um, yeah, and certainly some people, um, I mean, I was speaking to a guy in Japan who, this week who told me that he, he used to be involved in a criminal gang, making lots of illicit money, and uh, about 10 years ago he had a float, and he, he said it was almost like um, some, other, some other kind of... Um, 
spirit or something told him, you know, this is wrong, and he just changed his whole life. He realised what he was doing, and you know, he went off and just lived on his own, and, and uh, just said that he enjoys nature and animals and just the peace of being alive now. So, wow. <laughs> what do you say to the person that works in London and they don't like meditating, and they're like, what am I going to do if I get into the darkness for an hour? In some ways, using a flotation tank, it's almost meditation for lazy people. You, mm -hmm. you, you get the, the same results without having to put in the, the practice or similar results. You know, you, you can just go in there, it's pretty passive, you lie there, and the whole point is you do nothing. And it takes some people longer to enter these deep, deeply relaxed states than others. But, you know, if people stick with it, you know, usually at some point in the first session you will get into those states. But sometimes it takes two or three sessions in a reasonably short period of time to really get the, the true benefits. And you get a very much a cumulative effect, so the more you do it. Is this the premier place in London, and how long have you guys been, been doing this here? Well, we'd like to think it's the premier place. We, we've been going since 93, and we're actually the largest flotation center in the world. So we've got nine float tanks here, which is you know more than anyone else. And we, we, we make our own tank as well that we sell all over the world. How much does a tank cost? One of our tanks is 18,600 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, I'll take two. <laughs> I had my first float when I was 21, so I'm 40 now, so it's almost half my life. If pretty much once a week. This is how good you can look at 40 if you float every week. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> so we're about to go in and float. Any final suggestions or thoughts before we go in? Well, the main thing is just, just to have no expectations. Just allow it to go <clears throat> wherever it's going to take you. Don't try and do anything. Don't try and think, oh, you know, I've got this problem or that problem. Just, just really, just go in and just clear your mind and just let it take you wherever, where it needs to. Because usually the float tank knows what's best for you. That's what we always say. It's about the journey. Indeed. Nick and I just finished one hour in the isolation chamber uh, in complete darkness and in complete quietness. Uh, how do you feel? I feel like a Jedi Knight. <laughs> yeah, like the chosen one. <laughs> you know, uh, mine went really fast. The, the 10 minutes of music came on and it felt like 10 minutes later it came back. So for me, it went really fast. I think next time I could go for, for two or three hours more. It reminds like I haven't floated for a long time. This it reminded me that this is one of the things that sparked like my my spiritual quest and my wanting to know more it was back in the day when I used to use the tank and I was, I was reminded of that now. Because you used to go in five times a week, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think it's something that I need to start doing at least once a month and uh, maybe even once a week, but right now I feel so zoned out. I don't think I could start my day like this, could you? I definitely couldn't start a fight like this. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that's it. That's one hour in the flotation, ta flotation tank. We'll have uh, more in studio. Yeah, we'll be talking about more in studio. We're at Floatworks uh, in London Bridge and uh, that's us signing out. Thank you.